Hi, this is Lisa. I'm back here to show you something I personally have just discovered myself as a result of digging in and diving a little deeper into um, different tools and features with Google Slides. I was a little, I was looking for a way even easier than using Google Forms for people to um, follow. And I've stumbled across this technique that was being used by some other educators. And I just wanted to share that with you. So you have this as another option. So let's say you're making an escape room. This particular example would be something you would commonly see in maybe fourth, maybe fifth grade math class. They're doing conversion of feet to inches. The question is presented to the students here. And then you notice off to the side, I have a little keypad. This was found just by doing an image search. Now, look at my slide makeup over here to the, I'm going to show you each of my slides. I've only got four slides in this because you would do this for each question. So slide one has the question. Slide two says, oops, wrong answer. Watch the video for help. And then when they hit on, click on this lamp, it takes them back to the question to do it again. There's a hyperlink that takes them back to slide one. And then over here, the question pops up a second time because I want you to notice something. Over the number four, it takes them to the next slide, which happens to be here. So in creating this scenario for your students, all you need to do is have this image of a keypad. When the student types in eight, it's going to take them immediately to slide three. It's going to skip over the wrong answer. Then when they type in the four, it's going to send them to the next slide. Now, what happens if they don't type in the floor? Notice it takes them back to the previous slide, which happens to be here with instructions and watching the video again. And again, when they click on this, it will take them back to the beginning. So that is another way you can use your hyperlinks in designing your slideshow presentation for your students if you're doing something with, with an escape room. Again, this example works best for when you're using numbers and it works best for when you're not using a lot of numbers because you will see for every time they enter a digit, you're sending them to a, a duplicate of the slide. So if you have something that is really lengthy, I would recommend still going back and using the, the Google Forms as your digital lock. But if you're doing something where maybe they only have two digits to put in or one digit to put in, this is going to be a great option for you to use and follow. So again, I'm all about providing options. I'm all about trying to show different ways to do things. I hope this is helpful to you. So again, it's just using those hyperlinks in a creative way. Take care, and I hope you enjoy the magic that you're finding with Google Slides.